Well, if you don't think your vote counts, just look at the results from last night's mayoral runoff. KXAN's Grace Reader breaks down the margin of victory, which is the slimmest we've seen here in Austin in decades. Isn't it a great night to be in Austin, Texas? This man woke up Austin's mayor-elect today. Senator Kirk Watson beat Representative Celia Israel in a runoff Tuesday night by just 886 votes. It's the slimmest margin of victory in an Austin mayoral race in decades. People always say my vote doesn't matter, but last night it proved that your vote certainly matters because the gap between the candidates was so close. Though Watson won the runoff, he did not win Travis County. Unofficial results show Israel got 17 more votes in Travis County than Watson. The slivers of Williamson and Hayes County that fall into Austin city limits push Watson to a victory. This is one of the things we also see with city government that when we look at the makeup of city council, it's no longer just the center of the city, those couple of zip codes around the capital, but now these areas that are a little further out are represented. And when we think about some of the more conservative voices, on the council, this is where the people are living. Using election data and looking all the way back to the early 70s, this margin of victory is the slimmest in an Austin mayoral race in decades. The next closest were all dictated by more than a thousand votes and were also runoffs. Runoffs always have a problem with turnout. Just under 18 percent of registered voters in Travis County showed up this go around. Israel has the ability to request a recount, but said she will not. She called Watson to concede Tuesday night. We had a very great, very good conversation and uh, we talked about uh, the campaign a little bit. I deeply understand one of the key messages that that those voters were looking for in that campaign, and that is that we this this town must focus on equity and inclusivity and diversity. Grace Reader, KXAN News. Watson also landed in a runoff in 1997 when he first ran for Austin mayor, but his opponent dropped out. In 2000, Watson claimed nearly 85% of the vote, but he left office early to run to be Texas's attorney general. He lost to now Governor Greg Abbott.